Americans are said to be uninsured, despite the fact that more than 8 out of 10 are actually in working families. It is a big problem in our country. Last night on Healthy, we featured Leslie's List, a website that allows consumers to do cost comparisons on different prescription drugs and radiological testing. Today, we wanted to look further into how you can save even more money. So joining us is Robin Gable of the Campaign for Better, Better Health Care. Thanks for joining us today. My we pleasure. ask people to send in questions on our website, on our Facebook page. This is an issue that touches everybody. I just want to get, what's your initial reaction to Leslie's list? I think that's a fantastic list. Consumers really need those kinds of lists to be able to figure out where they can get inexpensive care. Um, the prices vary so much. And it's important to know where you can get the best deal. And one of the things that um, a lot of people were saying, well, do I want to go get a really cheap MRI? How do I know that I'm still going to get the quality that I would get with a more expensive one? Well, one of the concerns isn't who's going to be interpreting the results. So I'd be a little bit careful about going to the least expensive place. Or maybe ask questions? Absolutely. Ask questions. Who's going to be reading this? How many cases do you, do you find? There? Are there any false negatives? Are there people who should be positive and aren't? Okay. And it's all about being an advocate. That's what your organization is all about, too. So let's take a list of some of the tips that we, you and I had, had put together, okay. what things people can do to save more money. We start with some of the state programs, and I think what's very interesting is you brought up these community centers that people don't think about. Tell me about why that There are over 400 centers throughout the state of Illinois, and they are required to take everybody, and they have a sliding scale. There's very, very good doctors are there, and they also help you with um, specialty care if you need it. Okay. So I would definitely go to the community health centers. There's Access to Page and Access to Care, which are also organizations that have arranged for care for people who are uninsured who can see doctors at uh, very small co-payments. And we have a list of those. People can go to our website. We're going to link them to you guys because there are so many programs out there. We can't all get them in. There are. Generics. A lot of people don't believe in generics, don't think to ask for it, but you can really save money by asking your doctor, can I take the generic instead? Absolutely. Many times it's much, much less money, and that's definitely one thing I would do. I would also ask the doctor if there are any samples that they have available. Lots of times doctors can give you samples instead of you having to go purchase the medicine. Okay, if we can get that list back up there one more time so we can go through each one of them because there are other things you can do. And negotiating is actually one of the things, asking them, can I get a cheaper price? You need to be your own negotiator and your own advocate when you go to the doctor. If you lose your insurance, you should say, I'm sorry, I lost my insurance. Do you think you could give me the same rate that you give the insurance companies? Because the insurance companies have bargained for good prices. A couple of other things. Ask for samples. And then the, what about dental school? Somebody, one question from a viewer was, what do you think about going to a dental school to get your dental work done? I I, I would. I would definitely go to a dental, dental school, uh, but particularly for not... Not the most invasive, right. not the most major right. services. And also, you can go to massage school and get massages for a lot less money. So there's all those schools that offer free services. And then the samples. Doctors have samples. Mm -hmm. So we can ask them to have a sample to save us some money on whatever medication yes. we might need. And the receipts for taxes, you can actually write some of them off, so save them if you can. Absolutely. And anything else you would want to say to consumers? Because there really is a lot they can do. Th there is a lot. I, you know, mainly be your own advocate. Look to see what programs are available. Check our website. As I said, the state has all kids and family care and breast and cervical cancer screening, and if anything is found on a breast and cervical exam, the state pays for you to get treated. Mm -hmm. um, there are some great, great programs out there. I think it is. It all falls back on the individual, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Thank you so much for joining You're us. You're welcome. And, and as Thank I said, you. important information. We have more information to, to link you to where you need to and go on our website. Next week is Cover the Uninsured Week, so we want everybody to be out there and make sure that everybody's aware that there are 46 million uninsured people. Good time to be doing this. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you. We'll be right back.